uh, still in assets, still in people. And uh, protecting your people um, is not just limited to the uh, idea of uh, security awareness and, and training for, uh, uh, for their protection, making them aware of uh, uh, both physical security and, uh, well, you know, and various types of, of frauds, uh, various types of uh, issues uh, that can uh, create problems for and with your personnel. Um, the, uh, there are procedures uh, that you can and should uh, follow to protect your people. Um, one of the attacks, uh, and one that uh, tends to be very popular in uh, thriller uh, movies, mystery thriller movies, uh, on well, is in regard to uh, um, putting your uh, people under duress, um, having... Uh, either um, issues of um, extortion, blackmail. Um, there could be a, a, a number of areas there. But, you know, the standard one that they do on the movies is uh, kidnapping somebody's loved one. And then, you know, if they don't do uh, what the the attackers want, uh, which is usually something untoward, <coughs> then their loved one dies, etc., etc., etc. And so, uh, there is the concept um, of the duress code. And uh, this is a code, um, and, and it can be uh, used in, in terms of... Um, the uh, passwords uh, for authentication, um, uh, but you know it it can be used in a, in a variety of situations, uh, depending on what you do. It it's a code. Um, uh, in a password situation, you know they are asked to enter the code to unlock the vault, to sign on to the system. Uh, whatever it may be. Um, and when they enter the duress code password, uh, the system knows that it is to, uh, you know, pretend to uh, be following orders, instructions, uh, but in reality it is alerting people and recording, you know, whatever is, is going on. Um, how far you you go with um, uh, making it look as if it's it's doing something that's you know up to you in terms of programming and and those sorts of things, um, but uh, in uh, terms of uh, them contacting someone, uh, them being contacted, um, and not giving the game away, you know, they're asked, are you all right? Are you under duress? And they may say, no, no, we're having a wonderful time. Wonderful time being the duress code. Uh, you know, what, whatever it is, you, you will, uh, you know, some kind of duress code that is not going to alert uh, the, uh, the attacker who may be there sitting, listening to the conversation, undoubtedly is, uh, certainly is in all the movies. Uh, and so you don't want to have the duress code be something like Rumpelstiltskin, where that's going to be very suspicious. Um, so, uh, you know, this is uh, something that takes a bit of thought, uh, a bit of planning, um, a bit of... Uh, 
planning in advance and, and making sure that uh, the thing is going to work, is going to um, alert people to the fact that there is a problem, um, but is not going to create more of a problem for the uh, person under duress. Um, and of course, you know, once you get the duress code, uh, then you start uh, ensuring that uh, you are taking steps, you are uh, observing what you can observe, you are uh, uh, possibly alerting the authorities, um, whatever uh, is appropriate, most appropriate to, to your enterprise. So, um, anyways, that's uh, duress codes, um, one type of procedure. Now, in terms of procedures, of course, we have, we have policies and procedures. We have been talking about it in uh, personnel security um, that we talked about um, in uh, security management. Um, so, uh, you know, we have all of our policies and procedures with regard to people, and one of the uh, aspects there is ensuring that uh, policies and procedures are, in fact, being followed. Uh, so we uh, have to determine um, we have to have checks, we have to have verification, um, tests and observations and monitoring on occasion to ensure that the procedures are in fact being followed and being followed properly. So, uh, again, uh, you know, it's not good enough just to have um, policies and procedures and write them up, you have to make sure that people are in fact doing what they are supposed to do. So, uh, we'll, you know, have to look at, at those sorts of things. There is, uh, uh, well, the training is, is going to address the uh, the procedures, but also the fact that, you know, somebody's going to be paying attention to you, making sure that you do, in fact, uh, follow the rules. Um, anyway, so as I say, you know, policies, procedures, have the background reviews, um, have the checks, all the things that we talked about uh, with regard to personnel, security, um, uh, Making sure all of that is properly dealt with.